togetherness media we're so excited to have y'all with us here today today we're going to be talking about the power of the mind and healing and how essential it is to have a healthy mind state in order to have a healthy body a healthy soul and you know who we have to help us with this subject today we're going to have a conversation with my main man man Aminola g he's a yoga master he's a teacher he's a scholar he is a de debonair gentleman amongst the town Aminola, how you doing my soul controller excellent excellent how you doing man you know the answer to that divine as always every breath is a blessing when i hold my breath i'm holding my blessing <laughs> That's great. That's great, my friend. It's good to see you healthy, excited, and happy. Yes, yes, always. You're looking good. You match. You matching your background today. I see the burgundy tones of the crimsons, the browns. <laughs> looking, <Yes>. yeah. <laughs> yes. So today we're going to be talking about how your mental state, how your mind state, using your mind to affect your health and how you heal. And you know, um, my, as I think as so far I am, mind over matter, or you know, sometimes you tell people, if you don't, if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, so like, so talk to us a little bit about the power of the mind and when it comes to healing. Actually, this is one of the conversations is uh, in the last 37 years, we have had it with everyone. Anytime we were talking and people saying, oh, I don't have the scientific evidence of it at the time. Now, thanks God, after uh, 2000, after actually in late 90s, there is a lots of uh, studies that how much mind has it uh, affect on the production of the endocrines, how it has an effect on um, uh, stress level in the body, all of these things. And uh, mm. there, I think so now is 18 years, this study came out that for every five minutes that we are stressing out and we are worried mm. in our head, for 15 minutes, one five, 15 minutes, wow. every five minutes, 15 minutes, our immune system goes down. Wow. So just imagine 20 minutes, minutes and stress, it creates, create a water of complete uh, hmm. terror, closing everybody for vacation in our uh, <laughs> immune system. Well, wow, that's crazy. That's a three to one ratio. So like, so just five minutes of stress will affect your immune system. That's, um, that's, a, that's, yeah, that's crazy. Like, uh, that's a really interesting stat. Um, and then just even, it just, even when you're stressing the, the faces that you make, you know, like, um, I know, like, uh, will you talk to us a little bit like about how it's like sometimes just even, you know, like your smiles and frowns and different things like that, they release different things into your body, um, like uh, whether it be positive or negative. Um, and then when we're stressing, most people don't smile when they smile unless they have a nervous laugh. I guess if you have a nervous laugh, then maybe you can offset it a little bit because you're laughing even when you're nervous and stressed. But like you sure. talk to us a little bit about... <laughs> we will do it for actually for showing you a couple of techniques for cleaning clearing yes please mind. yeah we will we will finish it with that now right, right. now it's, it's, uh, it's how we can deal with uh, um, this level of uh, uh, you said something and I forgot and I went somewhere oh the smiles oh. about the smiles and endorphins and like how your friend like even facial expressions will affect your health yeah this this area of our face has a lots of nerve ending the whole oh. area and, and uh, 
You don't have to be happy, but have a slight smile. That itself it has the impact of the production yeah. of iodine and epinephrine in the brain. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing how our facial expression has a direct impact with what we are mm -hmm. building, creating in our uh, brain. Yeah, like that song, put on a happy face, you know, like, <laughs> you know great skies, put on a happy face. Yeah, like, so even, even when you're, um, that's why it's so important. Uh, even when you are going through these things and, and you don't feel like smiling, smiling may be the last thing you want to do, but if you take that impetus and if you take that initiative to go ahead and smile and laugh anyway, smile and laugh anyway, it will not only change how you feel physically, it'll actually change how you feel mentally. That just the fact of smiling, even when you're going through that, it'll change your emotions. It'll change the way you feel. So sometimes you have to take action uh, first. You're like uh, you have to take action to take control of how, how of how you're feeling uh, um, emotionally and how you're feeling physically. Um, I know we've had conversations before about uh, sunlight um, and how that affects your health and exercise and how it affects your health. But sometimes when people are depressed, they don't feel like exercising. They don't feel like, uh, or when they're sick, they don't feel like uh, working out. And I think one thing that really helped me, I was, um, I took on a puppy during my COVID and I since, uh, and I've since uh, went ahead and gave her to somebody who really needed her for their emotional health because they needed her more than I did and they'd be able to spend more time with her. And they actually like uh, super healing. She's been super healing for them. But during my COVID, I was forced to get up and go out and uh, to take her for walks. Uh, you know, in the middle of the night or sometimes during the daytime, I'd be low energy. Um, but I went out and did that anyway. I was, it forced me to do that. And I think that helped with my, um, with my healing process. And one thing is I never told myself I was sick. I only told myself I tested positive for COVID. Uh, which is a completely different thing. I refuse to use those words on myself because I because I knew that I like I knew that if my mind stayed right, then my body would follow suit. Can you talk to us about uh, sometimes making yourself uh, like go out and do some of the things that um, that are healthy for you mentally and emotionally and physically, even when you're not motivated to do these things? Sure. The first thing, as I said, this uh, slight smile in the face. And then if you're sitting, sit straight, keep your head over your butt. Not, not like this, keep your head over your butt. And then if you're standing, stand straight, open your chest and pull your shoulders back. Just posture, shifting your whole conversation in your head and the way that you feel and you, the way you're breathing, everything shifts. Very simple. Now, if you like to dance, go dance. If you like, like to jump on a tree, if you like to walk or run, go for running. Whatever works, you just do it. And that thing is shift because it's amazing. Just imagine if there is a triangle, one side of it, another side of it is your mind, and another side yeah. emotion. If you do any change in one of them, has an impact on the other two. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you change your thoughts, you have an impact on your emotion and your body. If you do yeah. something with your body, it has an impact on your mind and emotion. If you if yes. you do something with your emotion has an impact on these two. Yeah, it's funny because you're talking about the triangle. And before that, I mean, we want, like, I'll talk about the triangle, then I'm going to go back on something else you said. There is, um, we start off being equilateral and having it's that balance. Yeah, we, we start off having that equal, like an equilateral triangle. And, um, yeah. and then once, and once we knock off the balance of, of one, then, then there's obtuse angles and acute angles. 
And uh, sometimes that acute uh, angle may end up being uh, stress or present itself as pain in certain areas. And the obtuse uh, may end up, uh, angles may end up presenting themselves as overindulgence. Uh, as a as addict as as addictive as destruct as destructive tendencies as destructive uh, actions and the other thing that really um, uh, caught me when you were saying is uh, how how important posture is uh, as far as your health uh, mentally and spiritually which call it um, the alignment when we act, when we show alignment and physically uh, and uh, presented, then that alignment of structure not only aligns our posture, but it aligns other aspects of our life. Um, would you like to talk about that a little bit? Exactly. Actually, the simplest thing is, <clears throat> it's if you just sit, pull your, pull your knees to your chest and bring your head uh -huh. down, all of a sudden your whole feeling goes down huh just hold it like this hold your knees and go like this sit on the floor and go like that as soon as you do it, the whole feeling of you is changing and the uh -huh. same thing with your breathing Breathe. because it's, it closes you off is, is, is that because it closes you off and uh um, it closes you off energetically it's like it's a it's a it's oftentimes when we're like this, where it's an insecure posture uh, sometimes, and it also closes you off from receiving and giving. Like it, like it closes all of your channels. It closes your energetic channels and plugs them up. Exactly. Body posture has a direct relation with the chemicals it's created, cre uh, the secretion of, of the in your body. When mm -hmm. you close yourself like that, you you have you have you have a conditioned body so it creates certain hormones when you stand straight and open your chest you have a total different hormones in your body so mm. that's changing you're shifting the whole thing it's like i give a different order to the factory of my drug factory in my body how how I want things goes, and I wonder if that also. I wonder if that also affects pheromones as well, because oh. um, you know, because people confidence, like with people, like you said, st uh, straight posture and all that, uh, it portrays confidence, and uh, we oh. call it, and then having that, and then confidence is a highly attractive trait uh, to most people, unless they're pr unless they're predatory. Um, it like uh, and that opening uh, and that opening up uh, will allow posture uh, will allow those pheromones and then also uh, conversely being closed down which call it that releases uh, that releases uh, pheromones of you being more prey and of being weaker so like there's positive and negative pheromones all right I want to make sure that we get enough time for you to properly uh, show us a yoga technique in. So, um, do you mind uh, showing us one of those now? It's a breathing, actually, two breathing techniques. Uh, many people maybe saw it. I don't know if they saw it or not, but this is very good for shifting how you feel. If you're frustrated, okay. angry, or sad, any emotion that you are experiencing and you want to get clear and release it, these two techniques. Mm -hmm. They're going to do it together. One thing is yes. like this. I inhale. I imagine I have a big cake full of candles. I want a bowl of the candles. It's like this. Okay. Which is, it's funny. We can't, we can't blow out the cakes like that during COVID anymore. <laughs> not, not poof, but poof. And don't worry about the spinning on the cake. You want okay. it. Also with the whole, with the bottom of your belly. Three more. Two more. One more. 
slowly coming up. Let your heart be goes down. Mm. Let your heart be goes down. Now, the second one is like this. It looks like, it seems like, I'm not, I'm not laughing. The intention is the part of my lung by blowing it out, I sending it out, and it looks like laughing, belly laugh. It's mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> and slowly coming up let you you know what i'm going to call that technique i'm going to i'm going to call that technique uh the sesame street count uh technique one <laughs> two <laughs> three <laughs> actually one of my she had and she said I create these stories then I they imagine like, this is before COVID actually and every we talk, okay, you have a cake in front of you, you're gonna blow it, and then we're gonna laugh. And they love this game. And hey, why not? What is not to love? <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't love cake? Yep. Yes. All right. So, brother, which colleague, is there any other uh, information or is there any other advice you would love to give to the people um, regarding? regarding just a healthy mind state, um, a, a healthy mind state for a healthy overall, for overall health. Yeah. One thing, one thing that we use it a lot in yoga is changing the breathing, breathing rhythm. Now, when you are worried or you're angry, your breath is very short, very fast. Now, what we yeah, do shallow. is slow down our breathing, and we make it very deep. So we're just breathing deep and slowly, your whole, you're shifting the whole experience of your body, mind, and emotion. And um, one reason really? why that's, um, one reason why that's important is uh, a couple years ago, they just found out a brand new, uh, a brand new, uh, well, it's not new to our bodies, but they, it just, they just found out that the lungs are actually where the majority of our white blood cells are produced. And for years, we always thought it was the bone marrow, but it's actually the lungs. So proper breathing and uh, lung control and exercising and utilizing our lungs will actually uh, help our body produce the proper amounts of white blood cells to fight off disease. And I believe me and you have spoken you. about this before. Uh, one reason cats get less instances of cancer than other animals is because their purr sounds like an ohm. And, uh, and that's why I really also recommend people to do, to figure out powerful ways of doing ohms and other voice chanting and mantra chanting uh, to actually help their uh, help their body heal and if you don't have time it, you can work on those and even sometimes sing singing uh will actually uh there's power in music and, and just putting those vibrations through your body the ionic mode has been a study that says that human voice in ionic mode can make cancer cells explode in nine and a half minutes the human voice singing in ionic mode can also make red blood cells multiply at a faster healthier level so Sing, dance, and smile. Sing, dance, and smile, baby. And like, sing, dance, and smile, and stand up straight, and you'll start feeling great. Man, Amanola, I love you so much, brother. Tell them where they can find you. Uh, on Instagram, it's Amanola G. 
and on Facebook, my full name. And if they want to send me any email, it's a uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a new G, uh, new G, forget it. <laughs> I, will, okay. I will give you well, next. Find, time. Find, <laughs> yeah, find, find them on Inst find them on Instagram. Which call it. Please, ladies, when you find him, find him for business. And if you do, make sure it's consensual. I know he's a debonair man, but you just gonna, like go, go, go easy on him. We need him for the show. I love you, brother. We'll see you next time. Thank this you. Is Have Anthony a good one. Powers. Man, namaste, brother. Love you. This is Anthony Powers from Togetherness Media. Hold on. We'll be right back with another segment to the show. Uh, that was Amanola G. We're going to continue this conversation. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the power of healing, some natural healing, and uh, ways that I kept myself healthy throughout the course of uh, having COVID. Um, and just in life in general, how I kept a healthy mind state, how I keep myself clear and clean. We'll be back. See you in a few ticks. Togetherness Media. Togethernessmedia.com.